Please welcome legendary activist and author, David Mixner. How are y'all tonight? First of all, I, I grew up with some manners, and I think we all owe a huge round of applause to the people who have made this evening our servers out in the audience. Thank you, gang. We appreciate your service tonight. You know, there's been a lot of discussion lately, a lot written and a lot spoken about, about who's responsible for bringing what in the past. I'm not too concerned about the past. I'm real concerned about the future. And that's why I'm so honored to be here tonight to introduce a remarkable woman who's captured my mind, my heart, and my vision. Sarah Kate Ellis lives her life personally the way she wants to see the world be. With her wife, Kristen Ellis Henderson, they have raised two children. They had that very hot photograph on the cover of Time magazine. Even at 68, I got a little bit titillated, you know? I said, well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> yeah, right, huh? <laughs> maybe the world's flat. <laughs> they were the first couple to be married in New York State in the Episcopal Church of New York. Sarah Kate Ellis comes out of the corporate world, media, marketing. She has won almost every award that you can possibly imagine that could be won in her profession. She is a strategist. She specializes in turning around difficult and hardcore companies that are having problems in the media world. And she has been successful. She is exactly the kind of person, as we're making a transition now to a whole new level, we can no longer operate as if it's 1992. I remember how thrilled we were in 1992 at the Democratic Convention that Bill Clinton even said the word gay. Now we're married and we're having kids and we're heading up corporations and we're heading up, you know, God knows what, and it's just a small step forward before we have a president of the United States. And just so you know, I intend to be around for that. You know, I'm fighting hard to be around for that because I want to see it. But reciting Sarah Kate Ellis' resume is important. You need to know that she was at the top of her profession, that she's one of the most experienced executives around. But more important, I want you to know the person that I fell in love with. First and foremost, she's a human being. And I mean that with all my heart. She loves, she cares, she's passionate. She left the safety of the corporate world to lead us into the future. She has a vision of where we have to go. She understands what happens to us in Mississippi is just as important as what happens to us in Nigeria and Uganda. She also understands that because of our struggle, because of our epic journey at times filled with darkness and tears, of all the things that we've created, of all the things we've built, of how to feed people and how to get, give them care and how to change tubes in the hospital rooms, 
all the things we learned, it is our obligation, our obligation to take that out into the world and help feed the hungry children of America and help make peace where there is war. Because we know how to do it. And foremost, foremost among those people who knows how to do it is this extraordinary woman that has come to give us the gift of her talents, who I am such a huge fan of. Please join me in welcoming your new executive director of GLAD, Sarah Kate Ellis.